It was, uh, you know, kind of uh, horrifying. I'm Shane Bauer, a senior reporter at Mother Jones. Last year, I traveled to Syria. I wanted to understand America's role in one of the 21st century's bloodiest conflicts. I came to this city, Raqqa, because I wanted to understand the aftermath of the U.S. military's most intense assault in Syria. I'm uh, standing in a, a small park in Raqqa with a crew of first responders. Their job is to recover bodies throughout the, the city. These are ambulance drivers, essentially. For a while, their job was to try to rescue people after a bombing. Afterwards, after ISIS left, they continued to work as, as first responders, although the term first responders may be not uh, so accurate now because they're still essentially responding to the same attacks that had happened months ago. <laughs> You know, they've been doing this for months. This is their job. Hmm. This is, uh, I think, 16 guys, and they really can't get a lot of the bodies out of the buildings. So they have a huge backlog of, of work. When I'm there, they're still finding mass graves. In Syria, the American war really uh, ramped up pretty dramatically once Trump became president. Overnight, airstrikes lighting up the Syrian sky. 59 Tomahawk cruise missiles have hit a Syrian air base. Trump really loosened the rules of engagement. The military approach in Syria switched to um, what he called annihilation tactics. In 2017, there was, in the summer, started to be preparations for a, uh, a much larger battle. We know more this morning about a wave of coalition airstrikes against ISIS and the battle to take back a key city in Syria under its control, Raqqa. Don't underestimate how important this is. We're talking the capital of ISIS. The battle of Raqqa was four months long, roughly 4,000 airstrikes, and 95% of those were, were from American jets. I think if, if something like uh, Raqqa had happened in the Vietnam War, for example, it might have been one of the, the most sensational parts of that war. It was, uh, you know, just a total onslaught. And, the, you know, the coalition claims that they were very precise in their uh, campaign on Raqqa, but civilians that I spoke to described a campaign that was uh, blanketing the city with with bombs. You know, it was strange to be in a situation where uh, people are digging up a body in a park and it's completely normal. There's kids walking around, young guys playing, playing soccer. You know, people move on and try to kind of bring back a, some kind of semblance of, of normalcy. They go to a particular location on the outskirts of the city where there is a, a very large mass grave.
Then they go through a kind of brief prayer. Allahu Akbar. It was touching that these guys who uh, are just day in and day out digging up bodies. Allahu Akbar. You know, still feel compelled to kind of give them that final send off. head home for the day and start it all again the next day.